game has they use the word evolve I, I over the land of the free and the home of the brave and tipping us off here a terrific performance of the national anthem we'll be right back with more hold on tight and don't go away Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Along with Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Orlando. Off to a great start this season, currently in second. And checking out Cleveland, three games behind. Man, and looking at the Magic, they've already become a team you have to stand up and pay attention to. Don't sleep on these guys. They're a dangerous squad. Well, the reason I think they're dangerous is the fact that they're playing with just a ton of confidence right now. And the more wins that they can pile up now, the more cohesive they're going to be. A look at the Magic starting group. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Colts is out there with Evan Fournier, and it's Isaac in at the three, the small forward. And for Cleveland, Ashman and Love are the forwards. Dimes is out there with Garland, and it's Drummond in at the five spot. Oh, oh, too much, too much. Yeah, Love can scan the floor. He's always looking for the late cutter and patient with that decision. Fournier, that's for two. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, you know they wanted a few of those plays back. What a tough way to go out in that one. Yeah, really a game that they should not have lost. But sometimes, even when you play your best, it might not be good enough. Here's Fultz. The Cavaliers making the shot. Vucevic lays it up and banks it in. To break a game like this, two offensive juggernauts going head to head. I mean, we're buckled in, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, the rules favor offense uh, in today's game. That's why league wide scoring is on the rise. And I would expect we're going to see a bucket or two put forth tonight, Kevin. No doubt. Now, here's Fournier following the miss by Kevin Love. Six to shoot. Here's Fournier, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Two shots. And the first one drops. Oh, my gosh, I just got that. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh, my gosh, I just got that. The Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Sullivan, the pass to Drummond. Count the basket. Aggressive defense. The battle with Drummond inside is a collision waiting to happen. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Stolen by Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen absolutely great that makes the turnover even more painful and the gamble paying off now here's fournier he had 25 points in the win against detroit he also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls so he's creating havoc for the defense so it's the cavaliers now after the miss from vucevic and that one's good osman can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there the assist really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Fournier, and denied! He sends it right off the glass. To the paint. Garland with the bucket. Garland's got his second bucket of the night. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Gordon, to the inside. Here's Vucevic over Drummond. The Magic again can hit. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. And love how high Fultz gets on these rejections. 
utilizing his terrific length to spike shots back. And it's Gordon missing. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. And he gets it to go. Darwin's got his third basket of the night. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Now, here's Fultz. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Detroit. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends, highly effective down there with the physical play. And Jenny Olsman is this team's rock. You know exactly what he'll give you and is a more than capable offensive player. It gives you a little bit of everything. He's big. He's got decent size for his position. And steady Jetty always showing up here to compete. They, they wouldn't want all of their guys shooting a three on the break, but when it's him, he's got the green light. Here's Dimes. He's guarded by Fournier. And that one, good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. The Magic trail by nine. Now, here's Fournier. Five points in the game. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Now, here's Fultz. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Vucevic. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Certainly, Nikola can hit threes, but come on. He's a seven-footer with touch. Those inside shots, they work too. And his whole career, Kevin Love, a fantastic passer at that position. Great vision for a big man. You think about it, Greg. He's one of those players who you're kind of watching throughout the course of any game, and you're hoping for that kind of highlight. I mean, that's rarefied air. If it's not a dunk, but we're waiting for a Kevin Love outlet pass, that tells you it's special. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Now here's Vucevic. He picked up 18 points in their last win against the Pistons in Detroit. Pocket six. Here's Fournier. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Fournier's got seven points in the game. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for reports from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I got a chance to talk to Steve Clifford a little bit. He's concerned about Kevin Love's ability to control the boards at both ends. Coach said this is a guy who once averaged 15 rebounds a game in a single season. Time out, time out. If we want to compete on the glass, we're going to have to bring multiple players and bring the fight. There's a reason that Kevin Love's middle name is that of the late, great Wes Unsell. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now a timeout called by Orlando. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Akoro's checked in. Now we take a look at the 2K leaderboard to see who the best rebounders in the NBA have been over the last 10 games. Number one, Andre Drummond. When it comes to rebounding, 
It's been a stupendous stretch for him. He's been using his body and strength so effectively. Here's Fournier. Seven points in the game. Here's Isaac. That one off the back iron and out. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Here's Sullivan and a strong finish with two hands. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Fultz. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside Fournier. Fultz finds Vucevic. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Their last meeting was in Orlando, where they were unable to fight off the match. And their last time against this club, they really fell short at the free throw line. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Outside Fournier. Pass to Isaac. To the middle. And Vucevic throws it down. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Here's Dimes. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Drummond passes to Sullivan. And stolen by Fournier. Now Fultz. The pass to Isaac. Shoots over Garland. Again, the magic score. Fultz is not just looking to score the ball. He also is equally engaged in terms of facilitating for his teammates. Now, here's Drummond. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Okoro kicks to Garland. Shot clock at six. They grab their own miss. Drummond up and in on the way. Drummond's got his third bucket of the night. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Now, here's Fultz. He's covered closely. Count it. And you got to prevent Fultz from getting all the way to the rim. Once he sees an open lane, he just attacks it. He is absolutely relentless. Here's Drummond. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Drummond's got eight. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Here's Fultz. Gordon trying to break loose. And the shot out, goes out. in from Fultz. And Fultz is tough to contain. Even when you rough him up, he still gets the job done. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Jonathan Isaac. Ross is checked in for Fournier. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Markel Fultz. Stolen by Gordon. Ross against Port. That cuts the lead to single digits. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first every time one team scores, the other team right back at you? Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. The Magic trail by nine. Inside, knocked loose. Kicks it out to Gordon. Passes it to Aminu. Here's the three. The shot missing. And Cleveland the other way now. Left side, Porter. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. The Cavaliers shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Grant, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogden. Right. Uh, but also guys like Sean Marion. You go back to Reggie Diaz, who was a tremendous player. And, and right now in the league, you, you got Kim Birch, uh, dunk champ Derek Jones, and an up-and-comer in, in Christian Wood. Good mentions. Pass to Nance. 
Here's Windler. Shoots. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. Uh, Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Down low. And it's Gordon. That time on the assist by Augustine. Uh, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Here's Windler. Here's Porter. The shot's good. Porter's got five points so far. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Here's Gordon, and it's Gordon finishing it off. <laughs> we all know Gordon isn't just going to lay it up. He's going for the throwdown every time. Thompson passes to Windler. Outside, Porter shoots it. No good that time. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. No good from Ross. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Thompson passes to Porter. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Seven points in the game. Thompson with a nice job finding the open man, creating for his teammate. They get it back, kicks it out to Gordon. My goodness, how about that miss? I mean, that's two easy points that they've just given away. Tipped away. Out to the right wing. Nance passes to Windler. No good on the three. And here's Aminu. He brings it up for Orlando. A 12-point game. To the middle. Here's Thompson. Bamba with the block. Uh, the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. to the inside and it's Gordon finishing it off gotta love the effort there an undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability and so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a 10-point lead some breathing room heading into the break and they've done a phenomenal job down low so many of their points coming right at the rim and don't go away we'll be right back And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. So the Magic, their last game, a win against the Pistons in Detroit. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Nans and Johnson are up front. Then it's Okoro. Then it's Porter. And it's Windler in at the point guard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. D.J. Augustine picks one up, and these are his second and third free throws tonight. Two shots. Free throw good, Porter. And Porter drops them both. The Magic trail by 12. And here's Augustine. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game.
He kicks it to Aminu. Five on the clock. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Augustine's got three assists tonight. Well, it's been a few years that defenses have challenged Aminu to take that shot. They may think twice tonight after seeing that. Now, here's Thompson. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. They get the rebound. Pass to Windler. Launches a three. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And you have to be excited about the work rate that Thompson has shown lately. He has become a much more active player. Well, the ability just to stay with that high motor is Tristan Thompson's calling card at this point. On the interior, wants to play physical and wants to disrupt anything he can on the inside to make an impact. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. No, a bounce to the ounce. Greg, yeah, showing off the bunnies. This one for three. Cleveland keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Windler with the bucket. A little mid-ranger is going to be an easy shot for him when he's got that much of a size advantage. Augustine passes to Ross. Here's Gordon. The shot, no good. Nance with some nice D. The Cavaliers leading by 10. To the paint. And Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist from Okoro. Thompson shoots such a high percentage on the inside. Most of his shots coming around the rim. Back to Augustine. Ross on the wing. There's the three. And again, it's Orlando with the three. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter. They should keep looking to the three-point shot for some extra offense. Timeout called Cleveland. You know, Greg, when you were in New York, you were on a super team of sorts. Compare that to the super teams they're forming now in the NBA. We've always had super teams. And this misnomer that this is something that's just come about with this era is, to me, absurd. You've always had it. The difference nowadays is I think the players have more say in where they go. Uh, and they can orchestrate how a team is constructed. But it's always existed. And the reality is this. You become a super team when you win a lot. Sure. And, and that's what really dictates how super your team is. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. Colts comes in for D.J. Augustine. The Cavaliers leading by nine. The pass to Garland. Now here's Nance. Fires for three. Knocks down the three ball. And that's now 11 points for Dying. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Passes to Vucevic. Back to Fournier. Out left of the wing. Here's Fultz. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now, here's Fournier. Seven points in the game. Isaac. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And one area Isaac must continue to improve upon has the size to dominate inside. Now just needs to add the muscle. Here's Dimes. He's got 11. He gets it in there. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. So the Magic, their last game, a win against the Pistons. Fultz with the ball. Fournier goes in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Here is Nance following the basket by Evan Fournier. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Osman. They get it back. And it's Drummond missing. Those are chances 
almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Ross. He had 13 points in the win against Detroit. He also had two blocks that really impacted that game, guys. He really made his presence known. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Nine feet out, and it's sent back by Drummond. Now Cleveland moving it up. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Dimes got seven now in this quarter. Here's Fournier. Nine points in the game so far. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for him. And something has really clicked for him at the free throw line. In the past five games, this percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. A switch flips, and all of a sudden, you're locked in. And that one falls for Fournier. Love's check in for Larry Nance. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh my God, I just got that. Here's Garland. He's got six. Osman, the pass to Love. Shoots over Isaac and play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. The Magic trail by 10. Now Fultz, the scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way, no roadblocks for him to get to his spot capitalize and continue to be aggressive. And so here's Orlando. The Cavaliers making the shot. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Right side, Fournier. Pass to Isaac. And the shot goes in. Isaac's got four points in the quarter. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Garland, the pass to Sullivan. Kicks to Garland. The tray. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Fultz. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Osman, the pass to Sullivan. Good for the basket, number timeout, nine. Timeout. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now a timeout called by Orlando. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, mm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today. But, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah. Got my legs taken out of uh, uh, oh. me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ouch. Now, here's Fultz. Pass to Ross. Takes the three. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. 
Fultz has got four assists now tonight. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Now here's Drummond. Osmond cranes it from beyond the arc. Osmond's got seven. With this lead, they're playing confidently, showing a quick trigger from beyond. Fultz the pass to Vucevic. And here is Ross. Here's Fultz. Back to Ross. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. And he hits the jump shot. Ross has got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. And the pass to Garland. Wallace with it. He kicks to Drummond. Drummond is double. Pass to Sullivan. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Kevin Porter's checked in for Cleveland. And a change for the Magic. Gordon's checked in for Ross. It's stolen by Vucevic. Outside Fournier. Goes up to the stripe. Again, the Magic score. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Sullivan, the pass to Drummond. Good on the bucket. He's got 10. You can tell how comfortable Drummond is down there. Excels at using that size in close to the basket. Fultz looking around. Quarter with a block. But they get it back. From the arc. Outside Fournier. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Just five to shoot. And another shot. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Quarter, no luck. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Down by 12. He'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Here's Dimes. He's guarded by Fournier, and he makes that one. And it's now 23 points for Dimes. And, well, Garland, the fifth overall pick back in 2019, had a slow start to his career. But around the midway point, he, he really started to take off. You wonder, Greg, in that rookie campaign, if that's a bit of somebody realizing the length of an NBA season. And maybe he made a bit of an adjustment in his body. Now in his second year, we can see some of the fruits of his labor in the offseason and him developing. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Isaac. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Markel Fultz. Now here's Gordon. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Pistons in Detroit. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Bamba. Oh my you know, the comparisons to Rudy Gobert are understandable. Bamba's insane reach really helps on both ends of the court. He hits both from the strike. Oh, my gosh, I just got that. 104 left in the first half. Love right side. Not a lot of room to spare on that jumper, but Love still manages to bury it. Here's Fournier. He's got 15. Gordon trying to break loose. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Orlando shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. The Cavaliers leading by 11. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. 
And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For Cleveland, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Augustine passes to Fournier. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers' lead cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Gordon. And the coaching staff wants Gordon to keep taking those. It's only going to help him get better. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Bamba finds Augustine. And here's Aminu. Shot clock at six. Pass to Bamba over Thompson. And the ball goes out of bounds. Touched by Love. Three seconds left. And so it's Cleveland enjoying a 12 point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels, and it's gotten them up big. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we got to concentrate on to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the home fans tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They are leading by 12. Shaq. How do you think Cleveland played? The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. They're pushing the ball in transition and catching the defense. That's snapping, Ernie. Anyway, a huge chunk of their offense has come on the break. They've got a nice lead, but they shouldn't slow anything down. I say keep doing what you do. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Orlando? Well, the way I see it, they're losing this game because they're being out-rebounded. You can't give up this kind of differential and expect to remain competitive. So what do you do? You commit more guys to the glass, guards included. You make it a priority that if you do ultimately lose this game, it's not because you didn't rebound. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Dimes has been sensational. It's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. The Magic trail by 12. Tip it off the second half. Here's Steve Clifford's five. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fournier out there with Markel Fultz. And it's Isaac in at the three. And Fultz isn't bashful inside. He feels at ease shooting in the paint. Love with the bucket. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. A defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Here's Fournier following the basket by Kevin Love. And Fournier kicks to Isaac. Pass to Vucevic. Over Drummond. Gordon trying to break loose. And it's Vucevic missing. And it's Love with the ball for the Cavaliers. Makes it off the glass. Osmond's got nine. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Outside Fournier. 
Back to Fultz. Shoots a three. Nailed from three-point land. Nine points in the game so far. And, and Fultz pulling from deep is a thing of beauty. Consistent in terms of burying those long ones from beyond. Here's Dimes. 23 points in the game. Drummond passes to Garland. Now the pass to Sullivan. Fultz brings the double team. The dish to Garland. Now Love. Osman kicks to Garland. Clock at four. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. It's Fournier on the wing. He's got 16. There's the triple. Isaac misses. The Cavaliers leading by 14. Here's Garland. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Isaac outside. Looking for Fournier. Gets it there. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Dimes with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. a lot of talk about who's going to take part in the three-point contest this season and here's a look at the players most likely to make it and so many great shooters in the NBA these days and, and these guys quite frankly the best of the best I wouldn't be surprised if we see a scoring record broken in this year's competition and here you look at dimes he's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event I mean that's a good call Kevin he's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that he'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in and we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants yeah, it's going to be very competitive that, that's the one thing we all know we, we've got an incredible group of long distance shooters in this league right now. For Orlando, they have been good at the free throw line in this one, seven of eight. That's good from Isaac. And the overall skill set that Isaac possesses really off the charts. A, a big man who can run the floor, but also with that wingspan can defend the rim. Oh my gosh, I just got that. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Sullivan, the pass to Osman. Inside, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Tuesday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. And for their matchup with Orlando... They won't have much room for error in that one. A team like this will punish mistakes, but I could see them walking away with this one. Here's Fultz following the score by Cleveland. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Darius Garland picks one up. And Fultz is terrific at drawing contact, especially when he's going up to shoot. For Orlando, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Here's Dimes. He's guarded by Fournier. And it's Drummond missing. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Got that bucket. 
pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And it's blocked, and he keeps control of the ball. To the middle. Banked in off the glass. And that's now 27 points for Dimes. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Fournier gets a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. The Magic trail by 15. Fultz with the ball. 13 points in the game. Fournier's shot is off. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And it's Osman missing. And there's the call on Jetty Osman. That's foul number two for him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Okoro's checked in. Terrence Ross has checked in for Orlando. Orlando's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Volts kicks to Vucevic. Volts the pass to Ross. Gordon inside. He's going up against Love. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Drummond. Finished off the break. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now, here's Isaac. He's got eight. Passes it to Gordon. Now, Ross. Lock at six. Here's Vucevic. Can't hit that one. Good D by Drummond. Here's Love. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fifth rebound in this one. Drummond working against Ross. And it's denied. Goes up. And a Kuro throws it down. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full, hustling, and still working hard out there. And, and there's just so much athleticism to Gordon's game. Good luck trying to contain him inside. And, and a chance here to check out some stats on Kevin Love. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Sixth in field goal percentage, and he's among the top 20 free throw shooters in the league. Doesn't waste many opportunities at the line. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three, top 10 in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. And the skill set of Kevin Love is valuable. Big man who can shoot the three, a great rebounder, and he's doing a lot of things well here. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Ahmed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Jonathan Isaac. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Fultz. Pass to Ross. Gordon with it. Guarded by Porter. And Gordon gets it to go in on the assist from Ross. 16 points for Aaron Gordon. Not one to shy away from contact. It's all part of the toughness that Gordon brings to the table. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. The Cavaliers have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. Nancy's checked in for Kevin Love. That's good from Okoro. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Orlando Magic. Kicks to Gordon. And yes, it's good. The Cavaliers leading by 18. Well, you can't help but think of the dunk contest robbery with Aaron Gordon. Didn't receive max points on some of his dunks that clearly deserved it. 
Said he's done with the event after the last go. And I can't say I blame him. Augustine passes to Ross. Here's Gordon, covered by Nance. The nine-foot shot, and Orlando again with the bucket. And when Gordon is hot, boy, he is fun to watch. And you can tell he's having fun as well. And with the dunk contest and Aaron Gordon, some of the dunks he pulled off, Greg, were outstanding. I mean, going over Taco Fall was the big one. Uh, the one-handed windmill was impressive as well. Gordon doesn't need a trophy. Everyone knows he's one of the best dunkers we've ever seen. Count it. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Cleveland's gone 2-3 or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Okoro, no good with the triple. The Magic trail by 17. Here's Ross. The layup off target. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Orlando's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. This is a 15. And look at hanging in the air, double pump, and then throws it down. And you see the D, they just stepped aside, <laughs> let him pick what kind of move he wanted to make. Wow. That one falls. Nance has got his first points of the game. Well, we got to do better than that on Larry Nance Jr. Outstanding at keeping his balance, even after getting hit. Orlando moving the ball around. Ross on the wing. Guarded by Porter. Stolen by Okoro. Tries again, and it's good on the way in. Okoro's got seven now in this quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Now here is Augustine. T right on him. To the inside. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. So the wing on the left. Augustine looking around. Misses the three. Cleveland leading by 19 points. Porter in the corner. Here's Thompson. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. But yeah, no question who's been the aggressor on the offensive glass. The Cavaliers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Magic shooting 47%, pretty solid. To the paint to stop the run, and the dunk by Bamba. And, and how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. Bamba with the block. And here comes Augustine, leading the fast break. One fifty-eight left to play in the third. Here's Bamba, and good! Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Now, here's Okoro. He's got nine. Here's Thompson. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Thompson's got seven points in the game. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Here's Aminu. Ross for three. Bamba kicks to Ross. Aminu the pass to Ross. Six to shoot. Jacks up a three. The shot, no good. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Uh, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Aminu. Isaac Okoro picking up that last basket. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Nance. 
And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. 34 seconds left to play here in the third. Bounce pass, Gordon. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Thompson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Nance, and the layup's good off the glass. Nance has got four this quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Down low to halt the run. Nance with some nice D. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Here's Della Vidova. Okoro out there with Bell. Then it's Exum. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Della Vidova in at the point. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Off target with his three. And here's Aminu. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic from past the arc. Rebounded by Exum. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now Anthony. And he drops it in from the low post. Anthony's got his first points in this one. Cavaliers shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Exum finds Thompson. Elevadova from outside. Not going to go that time. Magic shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Clark outside. Hits it from three-point range. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Elevate over the pass to X. There's the steal. Pass to a one do. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. A one do's got his first basket of the night. Well, those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Thompson misses. The Magic trail by 21. Aminu down low. Out to Anthony. Let's the three fly. No good there. And you could see he knew exactly where that long rebound was coming off, able to get there quickly and snatch it up. It's two on one. And he makes the first. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. And Anthony drops them both. And the Cavaliers call time here. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down.
Mohamed Bamba. He's checked in for Anthony. Here's Garland. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Osman. He's covered by Isaac. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. There's the call. It's a foul on Orlando. Two shots. The first one falls. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And it's Orlando's ball. They're on a 9-1 to one run. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Fournier dishes to Vucevic. Back to Fournier. Another miss by Orlando. Cleveland leading by 20. Here's Sullivan. Hands it from downtown. Dines got nine points now in just the second half. And those are the kind of signs where Garland is improving his overall awareness to find teammates. Here's Fournier, and it's sent back by Drummond. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Orlando's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And Fournier kicks to Fultz. Back to Fournier. And there it is for him. 21 points for Evan Fournier. And this is what you want to see more of from Bamba. Making an effort to share the rock. Osman, the best to love. They double team love. The wide open look here for Garland. That's in there. Love with the assist. Love's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Now, here's Fultz. With the teardrop. Rebound Andre Drummond. And it's Drummond with the ball. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. Inside, Love. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Maybe some underrated parts of Kevin Love is the strength that he has in that lower body. Excels at absorbing that contact and then up and powers through. Now, here's Fournier. He kicks it to Fultz. And there's the pass to Bamba. Cavaliers have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Here are the magic now. The Cavaliers making the shot. Isaac passes to Bamba. Isaac outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good from Fournier. I love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. Passes it to Drummond. Here's Osman. Pass to Sullivan to the inside. Here's Drummond. Rebound by the Magic. Bamba's got 11 rebounds in the game. The Magic shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Here's Fultz. And the bank shot is good. Fultz has got 11 in the second half. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Here's Sullivan shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Evan Fournier. Clearly a foul. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Magic have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Here's Fultz. Isaac kicks to Fultz. 
It's Fournier on the wing. Back to Fultz. From deep. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Sullivan. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Dimes got seven now in this quarter. Orlando's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. For three, Fournier. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, and this is something Bamba does so well. The unbelievable recognition and timing to come up with offensive rebounds. Here's Osman. Here's Truman, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Vucevic. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Andre Truman. Two shots. First one falls for him. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. And both free throws good for Drummond. The Magic shooting reasonably well, 45%. Now here is Augustine. Defended by Della Vadova. Bounce pass from Clark. Here's Bamba. And too long on the shot. Cleveland's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. There's the pass to Sullivan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second. And he knocks down the first one. Jordan Bell's checked in for Andre Drummond. And the Magic making a change here as well. A one deuce checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Now here's Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Sullivan. Oh, he jams it right over Cole Anthony. Wow! Well, a big reason why Della Vadova is out there is because he can see who's available. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Magic. Aaron Ames comes up with the rebound. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. To the middle. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. No clue how he got that one to fall. That's his second personal foul. Dante Exum, he's checked in for Cleveland. One shot. A free throw drops for Augustine. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And here are the Cavaliers now. A three ball. Pass to Della Vidova. To the paint, here's Sullivan. Man's trying to break loose. Some solid defense from Clark. Augustine dishes to Anthony. And good! Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Now, here's Exum. Left side, Nance. Shot from 12. The shot off that time. 
The Magic shooting in this game, 45%. Here's Augustine. Second chance shot. The shot comes out. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's Dimes. He dishes it to Exit. Sullivan, the pass to Delavidova. Looking for Nance, and he gets it there. Cleveland moving it around. Four on the shot clock. They get it again. No good with the layup. Magic shooting 40% in the fourth. Here's Anthony. And he banks in the layup. Anthony's got 11 points here in just the second half. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Here's Della Bedova, And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Now this is where Delhi becomes more versatile when he starts to hit some jumpers inside the three-point line. Anthony down low, covered by Nance. Out of bounds, magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Tristan Thompson is checked in for the Cavaliers. Usman comes in for dimes. Tristan Thompson. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. Augustine, no luck. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Tristan Thompson is one of the best offensive rebounders in the NBA. So to do that, you can't be afraid to throw your weight around. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for the match. And so Thompson nails both of them. 125 left in the fourth. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Cavaliers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some What's dominant that? moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game apiece. Still, two more to go in the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Dimes. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. Yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Here's Delavidova, lays it up off the glass. Making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now here's Anthony, passes it to a one-do. Out to Anthony, pulls it up, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Yeah, draw the D in, kick it out for the open shot. That's taking a page straight out of your textbook. Well done. And Cleveland can just let the clock run down here. Exum finds Delavidova. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Dante Exum, 
Dante, still a young guy in this league. What do you want to focus on with your development? Um, you know, I think it's just staying in the defensive end. You know, sometimes in the heat of the play, you kind of lose sight of it. And it's just about staying in there and just helping your teammates out. So, A very young guy on a very good team. Thank you, Dante. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.